So that was Greenlight Records in Kalamazoo. I forgot to do an intro in front of the store, but I've shown this place a couple times. I think it's my last, I think I have one, I still a tour from Third Man Records, but Greenlight Records is my probably my second favorite store in Michigan. Radio Wasteland is first in Midland, but Greenlight, every time I go in there, there is something exciting, something I haven't seen, some kind of almost like a grail type of thing. You know, I, I bought Pixies, I've bought Sonic Youth, Robert Johnson. The, the cool stuff they get is amazing, and their prices are really fair. I, I really, really loved that store. I just couldn't go in all the time when I was traveling because, you know, I, I have bills to pay and, you know, you have to pay mortgage and things like that. Because uh, that store would have sucked it all up and they know it. But they, they had great bins. I went through some of their, um, uh, their, their high end stuff, but it's just fun to see this stuff. So uh, just, yeah, so, such a favorite store. I'm really going to miss that, uh, going to that store. The people, they're extremely friendly. Uh, and, you know, and, and all, they always greeted you. They, they know your name. You know, even myself, who's not from there, you know, I live three hours away. They know who I was. Of course, I spend money, too. Uh, but one, one, one wonderful place and uh, well worth um, checking out. So I brought a couple, I got a couple albums that I brought back into my collection. I haven't had a lot that I've brought back in yet. Um, I had a lot of new stuff, though, so that's that's cool. But the first one I want to show, and, you know, these, none of these are, like, rare, rare just albums I've liked. Tom Petty, Southern Accents, this, this is a reissue that come out. And, you know, I was looking for an original. You know, the funny thing is, man, you used to find these Tom Petty albums everywhere. You know, for those, you know, in the 80s, 90s, the aughts, uh, it was, Tom Petty was pretty common out there. Hey, budget bin, Tom Petty, look at that. Uh, eh, times have changed. But I'm not a completist on Tom Petty. I really like his stuff. His greatest hits always takes care of me, but I, I do enjoy his music, and so there are some albums I want, and this was such a good one, you know, it had Rebels on here, Southern Accents was good, uh, Don't Come Around Here No More, what a great song, has Spike, I, you know, some people really like the Spike, I, well, you know, I'm okay with it, uh, but yeah, this is, you know, one, one of those petty albums that I, I definitely want to have back in, uh, yeah, I, I used to have everything he had, CD and, and an album, so now I'm just trying to, you know, I got so much room, right? I don't need the full Petty collection, but I do love his hits. But this 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 was a very strong, solid album. Glad to have that back. Another one that I brought back in, and, you know, this is really, really inexpensive. Yeah, Radio Wasteland, five bucks. Uh, Orchestrated Maneuvers in the Dark, and uh, actually, yeah. Uh, one that was sent to me, for, I ordered from, I watched uh, the, the videos uh, when he shows his new stuff. Uh, this, again, this is an album that I had back in the 80s. And I bought because they had just this beautiful hit song, Forever Live and Die. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why. Oh, that was a bad high note, wasn't it? Uh, forever Live and Die. Uh, but... Yeah, I just, I love that song to death. Now, guess what? I could have just bought the single and uh, put it on my uh, phone, but I bought the album. It was it was very cheap, so I did like the album. I never really got into orchestral maneuvers in the dark, like, oh my God, I got to hit the rest. I think I bought their next album, and it's like, yeah, uh, whatever. And then that was it. But this one, yeah, I thought long and hard. Yeah, it's only five, but again, space do you need it and you know i i don't need the greatest hits i just need that song so there you go could have downloaded it but yeah i just yeah hap, hap, happy to have it i it, and that kind of you know for a lot of you as you try to decide eh, hey, what which how much should i have you know you know what's how what size of the record collection Mix it, you know, you, you just kind of, at times, you have to make those kind of decisions, you know. What do I have room for and what do I want to put in? So, uh, that's that's what I have this weekend. If you're in Kalamazoo, Michigan, please check out Greenlight Records. Excellent place.
thank you for um, dropping by and watching this. I have two record stores in Colorado to show. How about that? Yeah, finally got to two. So it only took like four months. Okay, we'll see them in an upcoming week. Bye.